Hey, good morning, everybody. It is January 6th, 2018. I'm in Reno, Nevada. Now, well, currently Sparks. I just dropped my sister off. Where she's going to spend the next 12 hours of the day. And, uh... So what are we doing today? We got to get... Zack smogged. Who is Zack and what is smoggy? Zack is this uh, 2003 Ford Explorer Sport Track. It's kind of like a mini Chevy Avalanche but Ford style. And like a Ford Explorer with a, with a truck bed in the back instead of like a regular big cargo area. That's what they are. And smogging, or get the smog done. Smog is short for smoke and fog. And since we live in a higher elevation area where oxygen is less, we have less air here. And uh, so we have to keep our pollution down from the cars. So once a year, before we can re register the vehicle, you have to go get the sniffer test done in the tailpipe to make sure it's okay. It's not making too much uh, hydrocarbons or something. I, I don't remember the actual chemicals or what they're sniffing for, but it has to be a below a certain level, if that makes sense. <sighs> and before you can smog, too, you have to have your vehicle at full operating temperature you know so they have to drive around at least a half hour or so so because it's something to do with your the way, way the engine burns I don't know I'm having brain farts this morning because your uh, O2 sensors have to heat up and all that and just everything has to be warm your engine has to be warm full operating temperature for to get the accurate smog you know and they do a, like an idle test for like sitting at a red light like what we're doing now you're just sitting there blah, 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 blah. and then they do a highway test which is at 2500 rpms and uh, they measure how much is coming out of the tailpipe at that speed engine speed uh, here in Nevada, they do not put them on a dyno like they do in a lot of places. They do with the diesel trucks, so big, not not the big rigs, but if you got like a Dodge Ram or a, or a you know Chevy or a Ford, you know with the the Cummins or the Power Stroke, they they put them on a dyno because they diesels typically run a little more dirtier than gas, but. You know, that's the way they do it. I know in Ohio they put them on a, on a dyno. Cars, trucks, don't matter. I'm not sure how they do big rigs, even though I've been driving one for going on 17 years now. Like, how do I not know what they do? Because i never really seen it done. i seen a video, they just stick some stick way, way up top by the stack with some kind of suction cup looking thing. That measures it. Uh, yeah. So, I'm on the way back to the house. Go get Mom, Christina, and little Francini the Peppercini. Yeah. And then, smog this truck. Re-register it. Yeah, you can do that at a lot of small places now. You don't have to go to the DMV anymore. You just, well, the initial registration, you have to go to the DMV to get your plates and your little sticker on the back, you know, front of the plate. And then after that, just to renew it, you can go to the smog shop, you know, you get it smogged, and then right there at the same time, you can uh, re-register it. So I'll ask you, hey, do you want to re-register it or do you want to go to DMV? You know, just, hell, just do it now. Then they just charge you your registration fee because they're all hooked up to the DMV. 
anyway so why not well i stopped and got my mom because uh francine she's sleeping on baby mama <coughs> so we're gonna go do this by our lonesome gotta swing by the bank first get some de niro and the smog oh yeah another thing too about smogging here in nevada for like uh, light duty trucks like this and that little Ford Ranger one passed by. Now probably even that one, that F-150. Man, there's a lot of ports today. If check engine light is on, they will not smog your vehicle. And uh, so you have to get your check engine light fixed. Either you do it yourself or you take it somewhere or you know a guy or whatever. And a lot of times, check engine light just has to deal with the, with the missions. Oh, there's another Ford. Huh, Ford day. Kind of weird, you know, I'm a Mopar guy driving a Ford, surrounded by Fords. But, yeah, but, like, Cliffy, my Ram, though, he's considered a heavy duty. Because he's does part of the 20, because he's a 2500, so he's a three quarter ton, four by four. And he has a higher rating for towing and carrying and stuff. His payload is higher. That's the word. Payload. So he gets away with having his engine light on. <sighs> yeah. Forgot where I was going with all that. Brain fart. Again. Well, getting De Niro was a, a no-go because they had a power outage up here and their whole system's down. <sighs> And the closest branch is like too far away for us, so we don't want to deal with none of that nonsense. Driving way far away. Hey, what am I doing? I can just cut through the little parking lot here. Instead of getting back out on the main street. Give me. And instead of getting back out here in the driveway area, let's cut through the little parking lot here by the bank and the windies and I got a small place over here right directly across where that container is I wonder if they had a power out of two though I wonder if it's this whole thing up here hmm. I'll find out here in a second Cut through, cut through, cut through. Get in line, get in line, get in line. All right, so looks like we're number three. Get their systems up and running. Yeah, people make a big deal about all these computers and all this modern technology and stuff, but one little glitch or surge or lack of power or whatever then everything just like falls to crap, you know. Whatever happened to old school. Just straight up old school. Well, this was a bust at that particular one up there. The whole area is affected by a power outage. So they gave us a little discount card there for five dollars off for the actual smog for their other shop. That's uh, off of Pyramid and Tyler, or Taylor, I don't remember, but she told me where it is. It's like Caddy Corner north of the smoke shop. And turning over here is always a pain in the ass because this is the main road. Ah, doo -doo -doo -doo. Hey, hey, I can go now. Yay! So $5 off, so I don't know. I think that might be, might work. I don't know. Or it might go somewhere else. As mom says, you're the driver, you decide. <laughs> oh. oh, so that smog shop was a bust out too, a dud. The reason is, because they don't handle the registration of the vehicles. The one up there on Northtown by Winco and that gas station up there, the Chevron, they do it, but power out it, so they can't 
can't do nothing at all, so I just sit there. So we're going to go to another one. One I know for sure that should that I get cliffy smogged at, which is due in March. So I'll go over there, and try that one. <laughs> Man, that's a lot of drama, just getting a damn smog check. All right, we have success. We got our smog and registration. Costed 150 bucks, though, but, I mean, whatever, dude. We ended up coming to this one over here by Rail City Casino. It's over there. Now it's just a matter of going back home, grabbing the baby and baby mama. I'm going to climb the spaghetti bowl right now. The baby's still sleeping? Oh, no. Yes and no. Yeah, no, I don't know. <laughs> she looks sleepy. Look at that hair. You want to go bye byes? Do you want to go bye byes? Uh, check how many Mountain Dews you have. Yeah, I gotta do some shopping as well. Hey, you want Chinese food? I'm Chinese if you please. <laughs> I'm Chinese if you don't please. Wait, I think that's supposed to be Siamese. From Sagwa to Siamese Kitty or something. I don't remember. I'm getting old. Next month I'm going to be 93. <laughs> I'm going to be 39. I'm almost 40. Oh, I want, I want to go back to her age. To be a one year old. Start all over. But knowing everything I know now. Man, I would be so jaded. You ready, you ready to go bye bye's? Did you jump in on my what time is it? 11.04. So we're definitely going to have to bring some snacks or I something. for her. Alrighty. The diaper bag's packed. Diaper bag's packed. And <laughs> Stand up, you drunk. <laughs> Go to daddy. Go see daddy. Come on. Go see daddy. She can walk with her walker, but not by herself. When she realizes she, she, has, to, she has to do it by herself, then all of a sudden, oops, I fell down. <laughs> all right, we got everybody in the car. We're doing Chinese. So, Panda Express or King Buffet? Well, you get more for King Buffet. Yeah, they have my fried potatoes, too. You wanna do that, Ma? Uh, I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> I'm not driving. Uh, 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 uh. I'm not driving. Francine says King Buffet. You want King Buffet? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess King Buffet it is. Alright, we are here. Seems like they already have a decent amount of people. And these are all the workers here. It's kind of weird, this place. Okay, you got Chinese people in the front to keep up the appearance. And they barely speak any English. Okay, so I can't really use my Spanglish here. Unless I go back into the kitchen. Yes, you heard me right. This is a Chinese restaurant with a bunch of Latinos in the kitchen making the food. And one time we came here, the Chinese food tasted like like Mexican food. And there was a lot of people pissed off about that. I was like, whatever, dude. It kind of reminds me of Filipino food, because Filipino food is like Chinese, but tastes Mexican to me. I don't know. So let's go do this. You hungry? You hungry? Are you hungry? Oh, uh, you got to think about it? She has to think. Oh, that was some good food. I'm full. I'm too damn full. And this shit's just too damn expensive. It's like $40 for three. 
and we had them split the check and they like they don't know what they're doing because me and Christina on one and mom she's she's an independent grandma lady she wants to pay her own stuff so, okay and then yeah I don't know just weird service or something I don't know I feel like down when I went in I was like yeah no but after dealing with the people now it's just like eh. or maybe it's all them potatoes I ate maybe I'm on a carb overload plus Francine she pooped she didn't poop, she's just farting and making disgusting noises in there. Yeah. And she's getting cranky like she is now because she barely ate anything in there. So, we're going to go home, feed this baby, put her to nappy time if she'll do it. And that's going to be the end of this video. So, smog checks and Chinese food. Alright, so I'll catch you on the next video.